If you're looking for that last blast of fall, it's time to get out of town to Wisconsin. Here now with Travel Wisconsin is Senior Communications Specialist, Logan Rogi. Logan, thank you for being with us. Hi, thank you, Heather. Thank you for having me. Well, absolutely. You know, we are so lucky here in central Illinois to be within a short driving distance of so many great locations all around us, but we're going to head north today to Wisconsin. So tell me all about the fun things that are awaiting us there. Certainly, Wisconsin is a fantastic destination any time of the year, especially fall. We're half covered in forest, so regardless of where you go, you're just going to see some beautiful col fall colors here in Wisconsin. And we're taking a look there at some of the fall colors that people may experience. You actually have a great website that will pe help people know exactly where to go and when they are um, in full color. Yeah, Travel Wisconsin's Fall Color Report is the go-to resource to, to find the awe in autumn this year. It's an interactive map that details the status of the changing fall colors from green to peak color. So you can go on the map and you can find a destination where the colors are just really popping right now. The northern parts of the state, they're already past peak, but there's plenty of places in southern Wisconsin for folks to explore. Yeah, I love how you say you've got some prime spots for leaf peeping. I, that's a fun way to put it, isn't it? Oh, most certainly, most <laughs> certainly. Okay, now let's talk holidays because those will be here before we know it. And a lot of people like to get away, get out of town when they've got a little break with the kids. So what are some of the fun things that you have planned during the holidays? Yeah, it's, it's a busy holiday season in Wisconsin, and there's a lot of ideas within a four-hour drive of Champaign. If you head to Milwaukee, you can see the uh, holiday light display downtown. That's thousands of these colorful um, displays downtown. It, it starts November 16th and runs through the end of the year. And then also in the Milwaukee area, there's this new attraction called Enchant Christmas, so sort of all around holiday experience. You can go ice skating, go through a light maze, check out a holiday market. There's a lot happening in Wisconsin. Well, yeah, and we've been looking here at some of the pictures of it all lit up. Definitely something to get outdoors and see, maybe get some fresh air. Um, it sounds like Edgewater Hotel is celebrating a big anniversary this year. Why should we check them out? Definitely. Edgewater Hotel is this sort of iconic destination in Madison. It's right on Lake Mendota, and they're celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. And they're really doing it in big fashion for the holiday season. They have this ice skating rink that is right along the lakeshore there. And you can go and skate with the, the, the Grinch. You can do PJs and pancakes with Santa and find all these other special events throughout the holiday season and the entire, uh, all of winter happening at the Edgewater Hotel. Yeah, and it sounds like um, Wisconsin there, especially Lake Geneva, a winter sports lover paradise. If you are into skiing, that's where you need to be. Yeah, oh, you, you, you're right on. I mean, 20 downhill ski runs, sledding, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing. It's its all happening right there in Lake Geneva. And you're going to want to check out the Grand Geneva Resort. They have a really special holiday time experience. You know, there's 2 million plus lights, a drive through light show. And if you go on Christmas, they will even deck out a Christmas tree and put it in your room for you. Oh my gosh, I love that. That sounds so fun. Okay, I would hate to see what would happen if one of those two million lights goes out, but I'm sure they've got a plan for that. Um, you can go surfing? I didn't think that was a, a summer or a winter activity. You can, you can. <laughs> In Sheboygan, Wisconsin, a.k.a. the Malibu of the Midwest, winter surfing is just this sort of unexpected activity there. And there's a there's a local surf shop that you can go and you can rent equipment and actually get surfing lessons. So in, in Wisconsin, you know, the, the wind is just the best in the winter for surfing on Lake Michigan. So it's it's something you definitely have to check out. Well, definitely. It sounds like a great time to start planning our next getaway. If people want to learn more, what's the best way for them to do that? You can plan your getaway at TravelWisconsin.com. All right, Logan, thank you so much. I'm feeling inspired to make a little road trip, catch, a, catch that little last blast of fall, and we appreciate you for sharing all of these tips with us today. 
Thanks for having me, Heather. You're welcome. If you want to learn more about all the fun things that you can do on your next getaway to Wisconsin, um, we will connect you at our website, caliving.tv, after today's show.